what we do is we come in here in, in May and we'll put the, the fence structure right across the creek. We install aluminum panels. And so the whole the whole creek is actually blocked off for so the fish can't uh, migrate upstream. And what we'll do is just leave a small, what we call a lead, which is about a, a 30 centimeter hole in the fence. And that's the only place that the, the fish can migrate. And then they, then they swim into what we call a, our, our trap. And at that point they're counted. They're enumerated upstream, they're released upstream, or if, uh, if the numbers are surplus, that's when we start to actually hold them in captivity, and those fish will be used for our, for our egg cake. Okay, so um, over the last couple days, we pre-sorted these traps. So in this main area, we have all female, or all males, and on the top, we have females. So when we take a scoop with our nets, we know that I'm getting all males, and Dave here is getting all females, just so when we spawn, uh, we know what our fish are exactly are so that it's all prepared and all ready to go. So we can tell our fish apart by uh, usually the belly. So here it's quite narrow and firm and square, whereas Dave's is round and soft. You know how soft that is? Right? Yeah, it's, it's ready for deliver eggs. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And also there's a little vet in the alpha positive. Yeah. yeah, and so it's quite different. And those are just keys we use to determine the different sexes of our fish. We've got a full pound of eggs and it's already been fertilized. So that's about approximately 55 females worth in there, plus milk from males. I'm going to add some clean creek water there just to activate any milk. And I'll pass these up to Neil for further processing. So what we do first is we're going to rinse, rinse the eggs, remove most of the organics prior to disinfecting. Okay, so we take roughly 50, 100 females. Um, the eggs get passed up, and then um, the process for our two end take is they need to be disinfected. So. The eggs are going to go into this uh, circulating um, well, um, add the disinfectants at 100 parts per million, and they're going to, they're going to be circulating there for 10 minutes. Um, after that, then they go into here, and then the water hardening process um, begins, and we'll have them in the trough for about an hour, and then from the trough, they're going to go into, into these uh, Igloo containers, um, and this is how we ship eggs to uh, to the hatchery from our field station. Um, today we also are taking pathology samples for our fish health unit. So what we have um, is we, we take 100 ovarian fluid samples from uh, from females, two males. We we spawn um, a female into a Dixie cup, and we drip the eggs into a test tube, um, which then we package up and basically. We send them to our fish health unit, which they're looking for path pathogens in this uh, panace stock. Um, we're also going to take carcass samples as well, 30 females and 30 males, and ship those to our fish health unit.